Yo, what's going on guys? This is your boy Dignify2K. We're back with another video. Now guys, when I hit Legend, I told you guys I was going to be deleting a player. I had the glass cleaning locked down. Basically, it was just used to get rep and I was going to make another build. And ladies and gentlemen, I think I made the best build in NBA 2K20. And that's right, I'm talking about the facilitating finisher. Now, I know a lot of people have used this build this year and made it popular. But guys, look at the badge selection that I ended up getting with this build. Obviously, at Legend, it's crazy. But even before Legend, this build, like it was 19, 13, 20, and 8, is a crazy build standing at 6'7". Now, I don't have all my badges quite yet. You can see I even have an upgrade that I haven't even used yet. I might as well just throw on Acrobat. But you guys can see the finishing badges, I already have a majority of them, and they're actually really good. And you guys will tell in the gameplays, I'm able to dunk the basketball extremely well without even max badges. Now, shooting badge-wise, this is perfect. This is literally all I need to shoot right now. Like, I'm not even really complaining about shooting yet on this game with this build because 11 shooting badges is more than enough. If you guys have seen me with my playmaking glass cleaner, I only had 10 before Legend, and I was sparking it very easily. And I'm telling you guys, this build, you're going to see the stats, and you're going to be like, wow, this build can't shoot. Why did you say Tracy McGrady? You guys will see in the gameplay, this build is lights out. Now, 30 playmaking might seem a little bit OD, but once you can actually use a lot of this stuff and you can use the passing badges, it's really not that bad. So we've got 15 of 30. This is what we're rocking with right now, more so, I guess, towards the ISO and the actual scoring side of it. Since we have handles for days, quick first step, unpluckable. I'm going to throw on Space Creator eventually, Ankle Breaker as well, and see if we can get some like some nasty Ankle Breakers to get contact dunks afterwards, because this build is actually crazy. Defensively, this is really all that I need right now. Like Defensively, like I'm telling you guys, I wouldn't normally make these videos without these builds being maxed out. But the way that this build is already upgraded, I'm feeling pretty comfortable with it. I know you guys would enjoy the gameplay since it's a new build, but this is all that we have for our defensive badges. All right, so let's take a look at the stats real quickly. You guys got to remember, I'm getting a plus four when I get 99 overall, plus five technically if you get 99.9 and hold it, but it's pretty tough to do that, especially when you're trying to do videos and stuff like that. But if you guys can imagine an 89 driving dunk, an eight, a 67 three-pointer, you know, 93 ball control, you know, like this build is going to be nasty. And like I said, it's going to have higher speed. It's going to have a higher vertical. And this build is just going to be, it's going to be so crazy to use. And like I said, guys, you'll see in the gameplay. I know the three pointer seems low, but you guys will see in the gameplay, man, how consistent it truly is. And I don't even have max badges yet. But guys, if you do enjoy the video and you're enjoying this build and you're enjoying the new legend builds, make sure you guys go ahead and drop a like. This is like day 13, so we're going crazy. But without further ado, the new facilitating finisher. We're going to do the T-Mac. Let's go ahead and get right into it. So like I said, normally I wouldn't really be bringing out these builds until I at least max out the badges. Obviously, the overall is nice, but you guys can see this is only at an 89 overall facilitating finisher. I showed you the badges. I'm not even close to being maxed out. But to be honest with you guys, these gameplays are too nasty not to include and show you. I want to give a quick shout out to one of my uh, subs, Claus. He actually showed me about this build. Uh, I was going to make it six foot six. I was going to make it six foot eight. But the six foot six, it just says slashing playmaker. And honestly, the six foot six, I, there's just something about it, guys. If you've made builds this year, you guys just know like that six foot seven to six foot eight, you know, height. It's just something about that just makes the build so much more overpowered. Six foot eight this year, you kind of lose a lot. I don't even think you can make a six foot eight shooting guard. So you would have to go to small forward. And to be honest with you, it just didn't look right. Small forward pie charts are trash. But this six foot seven, guys, I'm telling you, man, this build is lethal. You guys can see, man, I, I'm not even close to being maxed out. I'm an 89 overall, so my ball handle is not high. But the thing is, I showed you with hot spots and the shooting badges this year, that's all you need. If you guys have been watching some of these wagers, if you guys have seen some of the competitive players play on the twos, they use a shooting paint beast now. And now that they have, like, a lot of them are legends, obviously. But shooting paint beast, hitting in the corner, hitting on top of the wing. With a video you guys are going to see tomorrow. And just shooting badges on, like, low three balls with, like, you know, tall players. You will understand you really don't need that much to be successful with shooting this year. But look at this build, man. This guy is six foot seven. Now, I've done a Tracy McGrady video before. And I made him six foot five, obviously, as my scoring machine. I didn't think, obviously, that Tracy McGrady is six foot five. I know Tracy McGrady is around that six foot seven, six foot eight you know shooting guard type of wingspan but guys this build is a perfect iso build it's a perfect tracy mcgrady representation and to be honest i showed you guys in the beginning and i'll show you guys again right here when i made this build it said you know tracy mcgrady was the number one comparison as a facilitating finisher now i was going to include these gameplays real quickly 
you guys are watching it in the background i drop all 22 obviously not playing the best people but we're hitting threes very consistently now this next lineup we're going against some superstars obviously know a little bit more what they're doing this gameplay is a little bit more so of the you know lob ability being able to you know dunk on people still iso a little bit but i came in here not even really expecting to get gameplay i was just wanted to play obviously chris is trying to hit legend i'm trying to get some badges now i'm gonna come out of here catch some lobs throw some lobs do whatever it is but you guys can see this build with only 85 driving dunk no lob city finish or anything like that we're catching down lobs and now that we've got takeover we're gonna be going crazy the, getting the finishing badges in park been super easy obviously i can't wait to max this build out and show you guys how good this build actually is and who knows man i've seen i've seen a lot of wagers going on we might have to get in on that if i can get a little bit you know comfortable on the twos maybe if i'm on my Giannis build maybe if i'm on a build like this we might get some wagers in there let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think do you guys want to see me wager some people do you guys want to see some more competitive gameplay i've been thinking a little bit that i wanted to try to get some more calm gameplay for you guys across all my builds obviously i want to do some more of my Giannis build i think that's one thing i'm kind of lacking right now that you guys haven't seen with that build is more of the competitive play style me playing the two at the stage if you guys want to see something like that let me know down below in the comment section as well i'm gonna, I'm gonna try to play a little bit more stage for you guys because i want to get some more of that competitive gameplay in there for you guys now you guys can see i i hardly miss threes on this build now i'm not gonna say you can shoot like a you know pure sharp just running around and shoot crazy stuff but you guys know this year any build can really shoot if you have the badges and i'm telling you man this build i don't even have custom jump shots yet so imagine my custom jump shot for my zion build and i'm coming out here man like look i'm pulling from the hash easily and knocking down shots you can only imagine how good this build is gonna be once i max it out so you can see a quick little backdoor lob whatever it is whatever okay game's over 20 points 22 and 9 that is not the video but now we've got a very competitive team pulling up an inside out playmaker another facilitating finisher and i didn't get to read it again i think it was like a rebounding wing or might be another shooting center something like that now we switched the lineup a little bit right here we got yamel is running center now and you know first play of the game the facilitating finisher trying to guard me all iso man we don't come out here using screens all iso getting right to the paint and that's another thing with this build that you guys will notice if you want to make this build and you want to know how i made it you want me to make a video on it make sure you guys let me know down below in the comment section but with this build and the speed guys six foot seven and having the speed like this and being able to finish around the rim there's really no way that you could truly stop this build so i know he had an inside out playmaker on him uh some of the facilitating finishers i know are like the playmaking and defense so i didn't want to go straight out and iso this guy right out the gates i wanted to let chris do his thing a little bit you can see a nice little backdoor cut right there the guy was kind of ball watching the majority of the gameplay i can't lie to you nice little move by him ends up getting the full white you know we'll take it not gonna lie to you and now we're coming back on iso quick little pro 2 spam up the court switch the hands they got the inside out playmaker on me i know he's way too small but we're gonna step back probably should have taken it in miss the wide open three probably just missed time because i did the quick stop he does like a lebron james style dunk doesn't get blocked somehow no idea so we got the score tied back up now we do come back we're gonna do a little bit of a spoiler we do come back from a huge deficit i know we're coming up pretty easily right here if you guys can see they leave another wide open back door cut but i know we're up a good bit but the way this facilitating plays guys i could play like this and this play style is so cheesy it's just running into the paint you know doing quick moves this guy's got hall of fame quick first step obviously he has the maxed out build so his quick first step is insanely fast because he has a high ball control but you can see i had another backdoor cut low key don't end up getting the rebound right there i don't have all my defensive badges quite yet and you know my rebound is not maxed but we end up getting confused right here i thought he was just gonna step up so i could run over to the guy in the corner but now we're down nine to six i'm like hey it's time to take over we have to score if we have any more empty possessions man this could be a gg real quick you can see nice little combos right here just real quick man like i said this is real fast these little combinations bro on a six foot seven i don't know mainly like on a like a regular six foot three type of build these are pretty easy to clamp but with the threat of being able to slash and being able to shoot and you can actually move this quickly this build becomes insanely lethal so again you can see we're going all light so quick little behind the back we're down by three switch it over my pass accuracy is not maxed out yet man if i swear if my pass accuracy was maxed and i had needle threader that would have been a, such an easy dot but you can see nice little move right there he has nowhere he has no clue where i'm going he's probably been watching i've been hitting threes consistently so he has to play that i end up getting blitzed right here terrible you know decision on my part probably shouldn't have done that but now we need a three or we just need a score to be honest with you because i feel like their offense at this point i was telling them man, i'm like this offense really is not that good so you can see a quick little between the legs again i'm not trying to spam it you know i'm just trying to work my way up the court you can see he tries to do a little emo to get by me quick little crossover don't jump man i've got hall of fame contact finisher all the contact dunks and we're getting the nice dunk animation right there 
unfortunately it brings the in i had him box that whole entire hop step he was not going to be able to score that on me a hundred percent but now we're down four after letting up an easy corner three I would like to get a three-pointer off right here so you can see I'm trying to combo up to get the three. He holds his nuts, but a little quick stop right there. Very nice move. 18% contested somehow. I don't know how. And we get the three, so we're only down by one. Of course, the hop step cheese meta. He's got playmaking takeover. We're down by three, so it's not looking good. You guys know playmaking takeover is actually insane this year, not just because of the you know ankle breakers and stuff like that, but once you actually are isoing and you dot a corner, no matter what your three ball is, to be honest with you, you have even like relatively any shooting badges, playmaking takeover gives you such a boost and it's pretty much unstoppable. So now, like I said, I didn't want to, you know. I had to get a three-pointer. I probably could have had it in the corner. So I let Chris take it up. He ends up getting, not baited, but the guy helps off the corner pretty well. And he ends up contesting it. Now, right there, he probably had the three-pointer. Let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think. I think he had the three right there. So we're going to let Yamelos. He has a more Hall of Fame defensive bat. He's going to let him stick out there. Playing a really good defense. Hands up, holding his nuts so he doesn't get broken. You know, perfect defense right there. Jumps. That kid may have had the shot, too. To be honest with you, the shot clock winds out. And he hits the North America in a shot, dude. I don't know. I've seen so many of those go in lately. But we get the stop that we needed. You know, to be honest with you, we just needed to score right here. But Yamelo's great little screen popped back out. The guy's too slow to recover. They get the three-pointer. Now we just need the one stop. One stop and anything scores it. So we're sticking Yamelo's back out there. So he tries to rim run. Almost gets blitzed by Chris coming up the court. But he gets the ball back out there, man. I don't know the inside out playmaker just wanted to take Chris. I know he's six foot three. And to be honest with you, this is my thought right there on that play. If he did not jelly that, I think that's going in. So you can see now we have the ball. We just have to score any, you know, any points possible. I had the back door cut the whole entire time. But now, guys, I don't know what this guy thought I couldn't shoot or what. I know the back door cut was there, but I know both corners would have collapsed if I cut in. I told him hit me, man. You can't leave this build open. 63-3 ball, no catch and shoot, no hot spot, nothing, just pure ice. But hopefully you guys do enjoy the build. If you did enjoy the gameplay, let me know down below in the comments section. Like the video if you're new to the channel, but it's been your boy Dignified. I'm out. Peace.